I just downloaded the First London Baptist Confession of Faith, 1646, from Westboro Baptist Church's newly redeemed website. I had prior read the Westminster Confession of Faith, which is another confession of faith that Westboro Baptist Church supports, being Calvinists as they are. And interestingly enough, both were written in 1646. I wonder if that's a coincidence or if there is some significance behind that. This particular confession, the, London, the First London Baptist Confession of Faith, does confirm many of the Calvinist viewpoints. For example, in section 6, among others, they talk about all the elect, and then 35, they talk about saints. There's elect, 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 all over. I don't have time to get into all the references they make to the elect, but rest assured that it's all over the place. At first glance, a person is tempted to say, what's all this have to do with going on a crusade against sodomy, against homosexuality? Now, there's no clear places in these confessionals that I've seen about homosexuality. There's no section that says it is the duty of Calvinists to protest homosexuality. It doesn't say that. Thus, if we want to understand their logic, we have to realize it involves more steps than just going from A to Z. There is B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, L, P in there. Interestingly, I'm going to go down to section 36, I believe. Oh, wait a second. 38. The ministers of Christ ought to have what, whatever they need supplied freely by the church that according to Christ's ordinance they that preach the gospel should live of the gospel by the law of Christ. Now why would I find this significant? One interesting belief by Westboro Baptist Church is preaching should not be for pay and pastors shouldn't be paid for preaching. J.L. Phelps one time wrote that in all his years of preaching, which is like 50 years, Fred Phelps never once took pay. Now this is different than many other ministers. They believe it's okay to be paid. Now what does this section say about that? Does it say that Fred Phelps is a, should be paid? This is one of the beliefs that many people overlook of Westboro Baptist Church, but I think it's very significant. Perhaps they're too rigid and idealistic about this. Perhaps there's something to it. It's hard to say.